In this video, we're going to have a look at workflows that can help you spruce the process of managing your studies. So workflows are often overlooked when people think about how to be more productive, but they are just as important as the tools for achieving the particular tasks. I would say even more so. And one of the best tips I was ever given uh, when uh, learning how to play the guitar was not to just learn the chords and the shapes of the chords, but, but learn the transitions between chords. So going from a G chord to a D chord is, is different than going from an A chord to a D chord. So you have to learn the different pivot fingers and different ways of arranging that process. And that actually is going to make your, uh, your, uh, your playing of music much smoother. And that's the same thing for work. So, so you don't want to waste a lot of time on getting from point A to point B. You want to make sure everything works smoothly together. And there are some examples of workflows that you may want to think about. Is how do you get readings to your iPad if you use an iPad for reading? How do you get the annotations from your notes into your note-taking apps? How do you convert your notes into, uh, into a document that you're writing? How do you collate all the information that's coming in? And for example, one example of this, uh, you, can, uh, you can have a look in the Learning Productivity and Study Skills site on the referencing guidance. And I made a video of how I have a workflow for getting annotations into my, into my reference manager. Uh, and what you're trying to do here is always rely less on memory and remember, oh, I have to do it. Have I copied this? Have I put this in the right place? But use tools to automate the processes. And I want to talk about a few, uh, a few uh, tools that I use for automating some of these processes. I'll talk about password managers, clipboard managers, file synchronization, and workflow automation. We've mentioned some of these already, but I think this would be a nice summary. So here are some tools that I uh, think exemplify these options. So LastPass is a password manager tool. There's Pushblood that makes it easier to send files back and forth between devices. Bito manages my clipboard. OneDrive syncs all the files. And, then, and there's Ift, if this and that, that's great for workflows, but there's also other tools for that. So LastPass is a tool that allows me to essentially have just one password and store all my other passwords in it. It's, it's free to use, it works, it's synchronized across all of my devices, and it fills in the passwords as I go through the website. I don't have to complete, constantly retype them, but most importantly, I can have secure passwords on all my, uh, on, on all my uh, accounts that I use. Pushblood is a really interesting tool. It lets me send any, a, anything between devices really quickly. So for example, I'm on a web page on, a, on my phone or on a, uh, and I want to read it later on on my computer, I use Pushblood to send it there. The same thing going the other way. If I'm reading something, uh, something on, on the web but I really want to sort of read it on my phone later on or on my tablet, I can send, send it using Pushblood. And essentially it lives as a, an extension in my browser. I click on the page, when I'm on a page I want to send something somewhere, I click on that and then here it gives me an option for all my devices that I may want to send this to and then I can, uh, I can easily send this back and forth. Now, the, 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 uh, the tool that I think most people don't know about but that could benefit greatly from is a password, is, is, a, is a clipboard manager. And a clipboard manager essentially keeps track of everything that you've copied uh, using control C or copy and, um, and instead of replacing it when you next use copy, it just keeps track of it and it keeps track of pictures, keeps track of, uh, of text and you can just search the text very easily, simply bring it up and you search the, the text and sort of remembers all the things that you, you've copied. But you can also organize these things into groups and, uh, and uh, uh, have them for later and do, uh, do many other things. So for example, you can plain, uh, uh, paste things as plain text. You can paste multiple clippings at the same time. You can invert case and, and so, many, so many other things. So that is a very useful tool. Again, I recommend that you, you look into one, of the, uh, one or other clipboard manager, but the one that I, I use and recommend is called Ditto. In terms of uh, workflows and having things flow, flow from one part to the other, there are one of the, one of the best known is if this, then that, if, if this, then that. And essentially, um, there are, um, this, is, this is the thing that lets you take an online uh, service and connect it with another online service. And there are others such as Zapier or Flow, and I'll mention Flow in a minute, but here's how I use if this, then that. And for, for example, I can use it with my Google Assistant. So if I say something, uh, it's going to add a note or a document or it's going to send my favorites from uh, my reading app pocket to OneNote. Or for example, if I have a task created, it's going to send an, it's going to append it to a document in, 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 in my Google Drive and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, here's another example uh, of a workflow that I use outside of Clipped. I use something called Clippings.io. Uh, if I read a book on a Kindle and I make a highlight, it's actually quite hard to get the highlights out of that in a usable manner. So what I do, I use a, a service that's free called Clippings.io. I import my highlights from my Kindle and then I synchronize them with Evernote. And I just send them all into Evernote and then I have them all in, in a nice manageable list of notes here on my, in, in my Evernote. So that's another example 
uh, of a workflow that you can use. Um, and uh, you can also integrate, uh, integrate uh, um, things with Evernote using, using if this and that. So, I, so Clippings does it directly, but I can, I can use if this and that for that. So for example, if I uh, read something on Instapaper, I highlight something, it's going to send it to Evernote. And again, then in Evernote, I'm going to have a list of all the things that I've, I've highlighted. Now there is a tool that you can also use as part of Oxford University called, next, uh, called Microsoft Flow, or it's called Microsoft Power Automate, but you'll find it on flow.microsoft.com. And that allows you to automate various tasks using your Office 365 tools. So this is quite, quite more powerful tool than if this than that, but also requires a bit more work, a bit more understanding. So I highly recommend you spend some time with that if you would like to connect things, like for example, connect things that come with your email, how do you process forms, how you, uh, how you even you can create approval flows and things like that. So, so that is something that you can use to improve your workflows as well. Uh, but that may perhaps, perhaps require a bit more effort uh, to get it all set, set up and working. So that's all about uh, workflows. That's also all about uh, the tools for uh, your study productivity, and best of luck in your studies.